HMAS Vampire, a daring class destroyer, proudly served in the Royal Australian Navy, RAN, as the third of its kind. This Australian-built vessel, a pioneer in all-welded ship construction, was meticulously crafted at Cockatoo Island Dockyard between 1952 and 1959. Its commissioning into the RAN took place promptly, a mere day after its completion. Throughout its illustrious career, Vampire was frequently deployed to Southeast Asia. It played a crucial role in the Far East Strategic Reserve on five separate occasions, including during the Indonesia-Malaysia confrontation. Additionally, it provided escort services to the troop transport ship HMAS Sydney on six of the latter's 25 voyages to South Vietnam. Notably, in 1977, this formidable destroyer was assigned to accompany the royal yacht HMY Britannia during the visit of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip to Australia. In 1980, Vampire underwent a reclassification, assuming the role of a training ship. It continued to serve dutifully until 1986, when it was decommissioned and subsequently presented to the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney. This remarkable vessel now stands as a museum ship, proudly preserved as the largest museum-owned object on display throughout Australia. The primary armament of the Vampire consisted of six 4.5-inch, 114mm Mark V guns, which were mounted in three Mark VI twin turrets, two positioned forward and one aft. In terms of anti-aircraft capabilities, the ship was equipped with six 40mm Bofors guns. Two single mountings were located on the forward superstructure, while two twin mountings were positioned on the aft superstructure. Additionally, four 50 caliber, 0 0.50 inch, 12.7 millimeter Browning machine guns were carried on board for point defense purposes. To enhance its offensive capabilities, the Vampire was equipped with five 21 inch, 533 millimeter torpedo tubes, which were fitted to a single Mark IV Pentad mount on the deck, situated between the forward and aft superstructures. Furthermore, for anti-submarine warfare operations, the ship carried a limbo anti-submarine mortar on the aft deck, offset to port. However, it is worth noting that the twin Bofors guns, torpedo launcher and limbo mortar were eventually removed during various refits. At some point during its operational lifespan, the Vampire underwent an upgrade, resulting in the installation of a SeaCat missile system. This addition further enhanced the ship's capabilities and versatility. In conclusion, the Vampire was armed with a formidable array of weaponry, including its main guns, anti-aircraft guns, point defense machine guns, torpedo tubes, and an anti-submarine mortar. These armaments were strategically positioned on the ship to ensure effective offensive and defensive capabilities. Moreover, the installation of the SeaCat missile system represented a significant upgrade, underscoring the ship's adaptability and modernization efforts. On June 25, 1986, the esteemed warship Vampire concluded its active service. After faithfully serving for 27 years and covering an impressive distance of 808,026 nautical miles, 1,496,464 kilometers, Vampire was decommissioned on August 13, 1986. Recognising its historical significance, the Australian National Maritime Museum was honoured to receive Vampire as a museum ship. Initially on loan from 1990 to 1997, the ship was eventually transferred outright in 1997. Today, Vampire proudly stands as the largest museum exhibit in Australia. Vampire's legacy extends beyond its role as a museum piece. In 1991, it made a memorable appearance in the popular children's television program, The Girl from Tomorrow, Part 2, Tomorrow's End. Additionally, the ship serves as a training ground for RAN divers in hull clearance, showcasing its ongoing relevance and utility. In 1994, the destroyer underwent a significant upgrade, with two disabled twin Bofors mounts being reinstated, replacing those removed in 1980. 
This restoration further enhanced Vampire's historical authenticity. Despite no longer being a commissioned warship, Vampire was granted permission on April 9, 1997 to fly the Australian White Ensign, a testament to its enduring significance. Regular maintenance and cleaning are carried out every five years, with the destroyer being towed to HMAS Kurtabul for these essential tasks. During a docking in October 2006, rumours circulated among RAN personnel that Vampire would be refurbished and reinstated for active duty. However, during the same refit, a fire incident occurred in the ship's boiler room. Fortunately, no injuries were sustained, and the damage was swiftly repaired without any lasting consequences. In March 2009, the RAN Battle Honor System underwent a comprehensive overhaul, resulting in Vampire being retroactively recognised for its service in the Strategic Reserve between 1964 and 1966, during the Indonesia-Malaysia confrontation. This recognition was long overdue as Vampire played a crucial role in maintaining peace and stability in the region during that time. The Strategic Reserve deployment showcased the RAN's commitment to upholding international security and protecting the interests of Australia and its allies. Vampire's contribution to this mission should never be forgotten, and its inclusion in the battle honour system is a testament to the bravery and dedication of the sailors who served aboard this historic vessel. As of April 2023, Vampire's Radio Room hosts an active amateur radio station, operated by a group of local amateurs. The station operates under the radio call sign VK2VMP, 